Hi guys, Ant here. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour of my current collection. This is a lot smaller uh, tray than you might be used to seeing in my videos. Um, I've had a another phase of um, rationalisation, if you want to call it that, where I've got rid of some of my longest standing and most treasured, most expensive pens in the last few months. Uh, and as you can see, I'm down here to eight full-size pens, three pocket pens. I have one incoming that I ordered over a year ago from Japan. Um, what's left here is really the very core of what I value and treasure in fountain pen. Uh, and as you can see, I, if, if you've been, uh, been paying attention, with the ex exception of these two Montegrappas, which are kind of in different categories, I've really only got... Um, one pen from each of these manufacturers and they cover a real breadth of material type styles mechanisms and so on i'll start here from the left this is a conid king size uh, flat top titanium from the uh, reboot availability perhaps my fourth or even fifth conid uh, and this one has a king of pen nib so in a sense i'm Kind of representing two different brands here. The King of Pen nib is is perhaps my favourite number eight nib. Uh, it has a real feel to it and softness. Uh, and I think with the bulk filler mechanism here in the Conid and its comfort and size in the hand, I think it's a great combination. The second pen is a Matthew Martin homage, and this is all titanium. And the cap comes off in half a turn on five star threads. The cap has a Delrin liner and an O ring. It's got the best capping mechanism of any pen I've ever used. It's only a number six nib. More than half of my collection now are number eights. But what I have in here is a Sean Monarch nib. Uh, this was tuned for me by Jose from Nib Lab uh, into a kind of reverse architect grind with an extra fine on the front. Uh, but what this means is it's an all titanium, all made in USA, super high tech kind of pen. The feed is Ultim, like I said, it's Delrin inside, the whole pen's titanium. So it's just fantastic, really great to write with, really comfortable, and the build quality is insanely high. The third pen here is uh, a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0. Uh, from the special editions page on the Leonardo website with a number eight nib, a blue ebonite feed, um, and it's got the in-house piston filling mechanism. I love the nib on this one. Uh, I also love the speed um, resin here in grey, uh, and the comfort in the hand is great. Nice big section, and the writing experience is wonderful. It's a big pen. It's actually, I think, my longest pen. Uh, excellent, F full stop. I have the Mont Blanc 149 here, in platinum trim, extra fine nib. This is my last surviving Mont Blanc. I've owned many, many, many Mont Blancs over the years. Uh, the extra fine nib here is my preference. The 149 size is also my preference. Platinum trim is my preference. The 149, I think, is a classic. It's just the one of the pinnacles of, of uh, what fountain pens should be. Um, ink window, piston filler, nice clip, nice comfort, quick threads, never dries out, ticks all the boxes for me. There's a bit of a story with this next one. This is a Nakaya 17mm cigar, cigar means no clip, in Toki Tamanuri, uh, which is this kind of caramel colour. 17mm um, size is really chunky. Inside, you see a nice big long section. Yurushi on the threads, which I think is essential. Uh, great capping action. And inside, a rather undersized number six nib. That was the reason I originally sold this exact pen. Uh, but via a number of people, it's made its way back into my hands. I'm very glad to say it has. It's really comfortable. It's perhaps the best Yurushi I've seen. And since it went away, it went from a medium nib to a fine nib, which actually suits me even better. It's got the great platinum Nakaya feedback, 
feels just like writing with a pencil. Uh, I love it dearly. The thing that you may not appreciate straight away is just how thick the walls of this pen are. It's got a real chunky, solid presence to it. I love it a lot. There we go. Next up, this is a bit of a mouthful. This is Nanoto Magna uh, Custom Midsummer Night Resin from the Shakespeare series with a piston filler and a number eight nib. So on the back here, it probably won't focus that close. It says custom. It's got the sterling silver trim and inside this beautiful dual tone number eight nib in a fine designation with an ebonite feed. And inside, check out this bad boy. This is the in-house brass piston filler from um, a plunger filler from an auto so it's like it functions as a vac mechanism that gives it a real weight in the hand the number eight nib is large and precise you've got this because the threads are set back on the uh, barrel you have a very long section to hold really comfortable really nice pen never dries out again because the cap threads seal perfectly Looking a bit smaller than everything else, we have a Lamy 2000. This is the Bauhaus Blue Special Edition from 2019. Uh, an edition of 2019 pieces, of which mine is number 412. Uh, this is the extra fine nib, as all of the Bauhaus editions do, which just has a feel of an architect grind. The 2000, for me, is right up there with the Mont Blanc 149 as the perfect pen, the most essential pen. The platonic ideal of pen if you will uh, it has this seamless piston filling knob ink window uh, beautiful seamless body hooded nib which just looks perfect with the body never dries out machined articulated clip beautiful capping action um, it's a bit small by my normal standards but because you can hold it anywhere uh, it's it's just a wonderful uh, comfortable pen anyway Finally, for the full-size pens, this is the Montegrappa Extra, 1930, uh, Extra Otto, which means eight-sided, and it's in this turquoise celluloid. This is my only celluloid pen now, with the exception of the other Montegrappa, and as you can see, it, it has beautiful chatoyance to it. Um, all the trim is sterling silver, and inside you have the sterling silver section with a number eight wide short nib with a Greek key motif, and an ebonite feed. It has a piston filler. Um, it doesn't dry out. The ink darkens a little bit, uh, which has happened on every Montegrappa Extra I've owned. Uh, and this is a Korea Pens exclusive uh, edition of 20, number 13. Uh, the Extra is quite a short pen, but has a real presence to it, partly because that's sterling silver, and it still has the big number eight nib. These are my three surviving pocket pens. This is a Sean Design Pocket 6 faceted in the patina finish which is very nice kind of blue and rust color uh, with the jovo number six nib um, very light aluminium this is the new ish quark by gravitas pens in zirconium which has a kind of satin feel to it i don't know if you can hear that um, in this kind of matte black and as jose told me listen to that ding uh this has a number six gravitas nib in it um titanium section currently a cartridge because it only fits cartridge because it's tiny and last but certainly not least this is the montegrappa nomo uh it's sterling silver and celluloid and sterling silver all the way down this beautiful chevron pattern section to a number five gold nib with ebonite feed and once you post it this is a rather nice comfortable full-size pen the writing experience is lovely it's a unique design it's one of the smallest pens out there luxurious materials throughout uh, i just adore this pen I'm never going to sell that one so that's where we are Everything fitting in this tiny little Toyoka tray. Uh, it's been a mile, uh, a mileage journey here, uh, but I'm very happy with where I've ended up. Hope this gives you a useful tool. Cheers.